Back, as we promised, we are going to shed more light on the latest Egyptian participation in the Junior World Championship, African Championship, I'm sorry, which took place in Madagascar in Judo. And the Egyptian uh, delegation, the Egyptian players who really did great there. And we hope that this is going to be a good start for the, our Judo players and to see them uh, once again in the Olympic Games to follow the steps of the great Muhammad moving through Hisham Misbah uh, to uh, Ramadan Darwish. We, in fact, we do have a lot of names and we hope that this is going to be such a good start to shed more light on this. We are very much delighted uh, to have uh, with us uh, via phone uh, our sports analyst, uh, Mr. Hazim Al-Iskandarani. Hello, Mr. Hazim. Hello, good morning, Nermeen. Uh, good morning. Well, to achieve uh, um, or to uh, occupy the uh, first place with 15 medals, 8 gold and uh, 2 silver, uh, 5 bronze medals, uh, this is really great and in my humble opinion it was not that much expected to grab all these medals. How do you see the tally of medals we grabbed there in Madagascar? Of course, it's a very promising result because uh, we were absent for years and years, as you mentioned before, when you mentioned the big names, the great names of the Egyptian champions in, in uh, this uh, sport. Uh, we know that uh, individual sports are, are very hard for the organization, for the sponsorship, for a lot of things, and to be able to... Uh, uh, to, to, uh, to get a competition, to make a serious competition against the African countries now, especially that a lot of African countries started to give uh, a lot of attention and care and to get sponsorship and uh, uh, funding uh, uh, the individual sports. We have to work hard on this. Um, of course, uh, the one, the sport that, uh, the only and one sport, that if you want, want to say, if we can say, uh, that gets most of the uh, the attention, the popularity is uh, football. And, but this is uh, worldwide. Today it's we not are only working in Egypt. on the individual sports, especially if we have ambitions in the Olympics. We we see that uh, the individual sports will be more um, interesting because uh, they can give us more than uh, the medals of uh, one sport, one uh, collective sport like football. But, you know, uh, there is something in specific about judo. I don't know what is it. I mean, uh, thank God we do have big names in uh, taekwondo. I mean, Hidaya Malek, uh, yeah. Isa, um, uh, Radwa. We do have big names. And we already achieved Olympic medals in taekwondo. Same in karate. When, when, when karate yeah. entered the Olympic Games for the very first time, we achieved gold. And, of course, Joanna Farouk did great achieving the bronze after being exposed to some unfair judgments. But um, this is not going to be our, our topic right now. But in judo, in specific, I don't know why there's something wrong. Abdel Mogud was great. Uh, Ramadan Darwish was more than great. Hisham Misbah did it only for once. This means that it's not the players, it's the management, it's uh, the know-how. In your opinion, what's going on? I think that uh, Judo uh, specifically needs uh, um, more attention from uh, the Ministry of uh, uh, Youth and Sports in Egypt. Um, it's a very uh, important sport. It's um, very pop started to be popular now in the whole world. Uh, and I think that it needs to be more popular. Uh, yep. through the media. You see, uh, for example, handball was not very uh, uh, popular comparing to football. Now, after the efforts of the, the government and the Ministry of Youth and Sports, when we organized uh, the World Cup, when we started to, to uh, make the Egyptian people watch the, 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 the matches, the famous important matches of the sport, it started to get a, a good popularity. I think that uh, judo needs this too. If we uh, uh, highlight, we point out this sport. It's our role, and this way. is exactly what we are doing right now. And exactly. uh, if you permit me, I'm going to mention some names because they really deserve. Yasin sure. Sabra, 55 kilograms. Ammar Abu Hashim, 73 kilograms. Ahmad Tolba, 81. Mustafa Ramli, 90. Arwa Ashur, 44. Neda Faiz, 52. Ruqayya Yusuf, 57. Jana Ibrahim, 70. 
those I mentioned, they are the golden medalists. And what's really amazing that they are in different weight categories and in both uh, boys and girls. How do you see the diversity, Hazim? Of course, the diversity is important because when we look at them, uh, either for the weights uh, or uh, uh, the different uh, categories, uh, we see that this is an important thing. This shows that there is a, uh, we started to have a certain attention. Of course, um, I'm, I'm, I'll get back to the popularity of the sport. If you look at the names, uh, these, these young champions, they belong already to families who are related to judo. Yeah. And this is Some not of them, enough. yes. This is excellent. I, I appreciate the work they did. But uh, we need to make the, 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 the popularity of this sport and all the other individual sports uh, uh, serious. E e Egyptians, in general, are very smart and strong in sport combat, in combat sports. Um, from and Louis lifting. So we need to make it more popular. Uh, of course, today we have the, the new technology, the know-how in all sports, but uh, these sports are very close to the old sports that our ancient ancestors, where our great ancestors used to play in the ancient times. So we have a, an excellent history in these sports. If we try to... Uh, uh, but to if you permit me the, to add sports, to what you're saying, Hazem, now sports, it's an industry by all means. Revenues, costs, uh, visibility studies, even scouters who would know well who, uh, who can be an athlete or a professional athlete and who can, uh, can only practice sports as an amateur or just to keep fit. And this is great, by the way. This is a very noble goal. But is it only the scouters? Is it the science which we should implement in every single step? step? Is it, as you've kindly mentioned, uh, propaganda or uh, knowing well how to uh, pick the talents from all over Egypt not to be centralized in the big cities or all these things together, I don't know. This is also one of the, uh, uh, the, the, the measures that must be taken uh, in consideration and uh, to be implemented in, the, in Egypt. Uh, it needs some uh, uh, kind of organization uh, as we do with football uh, 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 you, football players, young football players, we can do the same thing with the other sports. You see, because each sport, each sport needs from the player to get some physical, uh, let's say, qualification. You know, so for the judo, it has a very special qualification for the for yeah. the child to yes. start the game mm -hmm. and to to teach the child from his early childhood how to play it and to show that the children how to play. So we have the, 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 the masters who could start this, but they need a sponsorship, they need some support from uh, the ministry, I think. And, uh, also. and they need to, uh, to know that they are very much appreciated and that the sacrifice that they are doing to clinch a medal for Egypt uh, are always going to be remembered. I mean, now when you see there, there's an axis or um, uh, um, a, a bridge named after Fayel Usher, for example, this is going to last forever. And this is to say, and the president himself, the political leadership is keen all the time to congratulate them, him, himself, whether in person or on social media. I mean, there is a strategy, a state strategy to appreciate and to give the um, utmost support to our champions. Very true, very true. You see, maybe we feel that uh, uh, these efforts are not enough because we have an ex we have a great population in number. We are we we passed hundred million. So uh, if we are we reach we arrive to reach uh, uh, everywhere in the country, we will sure we will find for sure uh, new talented young children who could start and become champions. Um, no. Hazem, if you permit me, I'm going to mention the other names because every name sure. of them deserves to be mentioned. Of course. The silver medalists are where <laughs> Ali Mu'min, 50 kilograms um, uh, category, Yusuf Al Qassar, 66, the bronze uh, medalists were. Uh, Muhammad Ramadan, 60 kilograms, Omar Rafa'i, plus 90, this is very important by the way, Fatima, Fatima Muhammad, 48 kilograms, uh, Sagda Ghunayim, 63 kilograms, and Mariam Hassan, plus 70. 
What's really important also here is to find a lot of girls because since Heba Rashid, the great Heba Rashid, by the way, oh. we have not, uh, we have not um, uh, found or we have not met uh, uh, a female, an Egyptian female judo player with the same criteria. I don't have any explanation. Do you have? Uh, actually, I, I cannot give uh, a thorough explanation for that, but maybe because, again, of the popularity, I don't know. Uh, this could be one of the reasons. Uh, but I believe that if we shed more light on this sport, uh, on our, uh, we, we, we diffuse live, for example, the world championship uh, in uh, Malaysia or whatever, uh, you see, when we show the, the youth on TV, the, this game, I, this uh, sport, I believe it will uh, make it more popular. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is important. Remember, for example, tennis was not very, uh, a very uh, popular sport. It, it remained till the coming of the uh, organization of uh, the international, Egyptian International Championship. And we all remember our great commentator, uh, Adil uh, uh, Sharif, Sharif. Who, who made from this uh, uh, white collar sport uh, a very popular one and uh, he was gosh. a vocal phenomenon exactly so we need to repeat the same example with the other individual sports and uh, and I believe this will get a, a direct result on the youth to to present themselves from early childhood to learn and to play uh, these games who are not really popular enough. You reminded us of the good old days with uh, the great vocal phenomenon Adil Sharif in addition to Riyad Sharara for the uh, athletics or, uh, um, uh, or, or Muhammad Latif in football. We, do, we, we were very lucky to have such a phenomen, ph phenomenal sure. Um, uh, phenomenal commentators and the sports analysts. But if you permit me to return back to Madagascar and to the uh, uh, judo tournament in which, uh, uh, thank God, the Egyptian team won the first place uh, with 15 medals. Of course, it's a great and I cannot ask for more. But I mean, with all my respect, it's not the first time for us to be on top of the list when it comes to the African level. Uh, how we can move forward because um, since we are on the, on the on the top ranking of, of the African level, meaning that we are going inshallah to qualify to whether the uh, junior uh, uh, the youth Olympic Games, which is going to take place in Senegal in 2026, or inshallah the uh, Paris 2024 Olympics, but. This is not to say that we can be in the very same level when it comes to international competition. The international competition is very different. Yeah. And the competitiveness, the competition there is more fierce and it's really more difficult. How to guarantee that we have this balance to, of course, be that happy with our African success, but in the same time to take into consideration that we still have a lot of homework to do. Very sure and very, very real. And I believe that we need uh, to get some uh, um, uh, experts from uh, foreign countries. I mean, if we remember, for example, in, in handball, we, we called Paul Tidman. When he came, he made Egypt. Uh, really one of the masters of handball in the world. If we do the same thing in judo, especially that we have excellent relations, we're talk, I'm talking specifically about uh, uh, our superstar in, in the sport, Mohamed Rashwan. Mm -hmm. He has excellent relations with Japan. Mm -hmm. He's a great master there. So if we could uh, get a, a benefit of these relations to call uh, the, 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 the big expert in this sport, for example, it, from, uh, from Japan, from Korea, from any other country, they will come with their own uh, um, experience, with their own qualifications, and they can be able to create a whole generation of uh, trainers and coaches so that they could uh, um, enlarge the, the number of players of this sport all over the country. Mm -hmm. So th this will give us a, good, a better opportunity to choose the best elements from any part of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can r raise the level really for, in general all over the country. 
and uh, exchanging uh, uh, the experience with other uh, teams by participating in the maximum of the championship. Mm -hmm. uh, either uh, I'm talking about maybe regional, maybe um, Eastern Asia championship or whatever. If we participate in these, uh, uh, in these championships, we might get better experience and we can uh, uh, break, uh, let's say, the barriers with the uh, championships, of the, the big championships, and we can find in the ranking uh, uh, many Egyptian names. Yeah, but since you mentioned the great Rashwan, um, let's remind the whole world, uh, let's remind our youth, our young generations, who was Rashwan? Rashwan in 1984, in fact, he was the silver medalist after losing to uh, Yamashita in uh, the final. But he was the winner of the Fair Play uh, of the Fair Play Award. And until the moment, he is he said it more than once during the past year. Despite the fact he's he's now 67, uh, but to say that he is being uh, dealt with in Japan as a king and he was not forgotten and he took all of the uh, awards and orders of merits from japan from the emperor of japan because of what he did because of the fair play how you can see that Rashwan can be a role model not only for the judo players but for all egyptian athletes the youngsters in specific of course uh, we need to, to get from his experience he can tell us about uh, his work on himself to to go be to get better. He went to Japan, of course, to learn judo or to to make uh, uh, for himself a style, and uh, he managed to uh, to make the Japanese uh, 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 surprised by his character, by his way of uh, fighting in judo, uh, and of course, what you have mentioned, uh, his fair play uh, uh, spirit when he didn't want to attack uh, uh, Yamashita, his uh, uh, competitor in the final uh, in Los Angeles, in L.A. Uh, of course, this was um, the ethics, either the ethics or the technique in work. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to, to, to get a benefit of his experience by spreading it. If he could give some uh, uh, lectures for uh, the... Uh, our trainers in the sport, we can send, we can ask uh, to send some of our trainers to learn judo in uh, tra training in Japan, for example. I think he could help us a lot so that we can get more experience in this sport uh, by his good relations. Amen Japan. to that, Mr. Hazem Skandarani, our sports analyst. Thank you very much for your input, sir, and have a very good day. Before we go, who is Muhammad Arshwan? In 1984, Rashwan lost the finals to Japan's Yamashita, who tore a right calf muscle in the preliminaries. Rashwan stated that he did not aim for Yamashita's right leg because he did not regard that as a fair play, and was subsequently given an award from the International Fair Play Committee. He also won the gold medal in the heavyweight and open class category in the African Championship in 1982 and 1983. He is a still a remembered, not only in Egypt, but in Japan and on, in the international arena in specific, because fair play is even very much more important than just playing. The ethics are more important, and maybe this is the core of sports, to know well how to be a good person, a good personality. Congratulations to our youth who they really did great in Madagascar and who won 15 medals, 8 gold um, and uh, 2 silver, uh, 5 bronze. We wish that they are going inshallah to continue uh, in the same track and to see them raising the Egyptian flag in the Olympic Games, whether the youth Olympic Games or in Paris 2024 inshallah. Right after the short break we are going to turn back with more so stay tuned.